I'm being thing. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're sir, not criminals! Please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Why are you sleeping? Oh, man. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, You know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Tucson, Arizona with a stop in the courthouse. Matter of fact, we're going to go inside the courtroom. Now, how in the world are we going to do that when no recording devices are allowed? Well, frauditors don't care. They break the rules right, left, up, down, and sideways. And today, we have Harvey Jailbird along with his good buddy, Direct D. And the judge says several times that there's no recording devices allowed in the courtroom. And if you have one, turn it off now. Do they turn it off? Certainly not. Have you lost your mind? Well, let's all sit back, listen, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. So I decided to go to Arizona for Direct D's court date and show support because I didn't agree what they were doing to him. On Wednesday, June the 21st, 2023. He had two court dates. One was in Tempe and the other one was in Mesa. This is actually B-roll footage of us walking to the courthouse in Tempe. But the audio that you're going to be hearing is going to be the audio from inside the courtroom in Judge Nazi Schumacher's courtroom. And he did threaten everybody in the courtroom. Don't you dare record. Bad things are going to happen. There will be consequences and repercussions. Nobody listened to Schumacher. I think everybody in the courtroom was recording. So I find this rather fascinating because Direct D just posted a video which I uploaded three days ago, which would have made it, what, the 26th of June? And he's saying this is the 21st of June? So it's uh, fascinating to me. But we're just going to listen to a few minutes of this because the judge said no recording, audio or video. So maybe the judge needs to look at this video. I think that you get my drift, good people, don't you? Anyways, here's the audio of him acting like a Nazi and stomping all over Direct D civil rights. And I know most of you know all the context leading up to this court date, but if you don't, I'm going to put a video link to Lackluster's video that he recently did that explains the whole situation very well. 
And anybody familiar with Direct D really doesn't need an introduction to what he does. He's a true cop hater. And he spent seven years in prison. So I don't think there's a whole lot you're going to be able to tell this lad. Yeah, because he thinks everything he does is the right way and everybody else is the wrong way. So let me turn this volume up on this court recording because it's a little low. 2.1C2. Talks about recording or photographing somebody outside the courtroom. It says, in areas of a courthouse other than courtrooms, no one may photograph or record an individual without that individual's express consent. Mr. Ruff, it's been brought to my attention that while you were in the Mesa City Courthouse, you personally recorded a conversation with an attorney. You yourself did. You videotaped that person against that person's will or knowledge. You did not let them know that you were doing so. You knowingly and intentionally violated this rule. Even though you know the rule, you, you, you did so. So for that reason, Mr. Ruff, you are no longer permitted to record uh, under, under Section 122. Okay. It's fairly easy to find this judge's information, but I'm not going to post it here because that's not what I do. But you can Google his name. Just know that it's spelled with an H, not a K. These guys are so illiterate they can't even spell their own name, let alone someone else's. Yeah, it's uh, spelled with an H, not a K. S-C-H-M-A-C-H-E-R. Schumacher, not Maker. Yeah, let's carry on. So I'm asking you to shut up your recording device. What recording device are you talking about? Mr. Ruff, I'm not, I'm not asking you to... Uh, tell me which recording device. I'm just saying you're not allowed to record. So if you have a recording device on, why are you so worried about being recorded? Hey, Mr. Ruff, you're not going to do this today. Do what? I'm Mr. Asking Ruff, questions. Mr. Ruff, not today. I don't give a speech. Mr. Ruff, don't push me today. Please. If you have a recording device on, you need to shut it off. The rule is clear for anybody else in the courtroom. We need to receive a request or notice. The court has not received any notice from regarding personal recording. That's what the rule calls for. So I'm directing any of you who are recording to shut your recording devices off pursuant to the rule. If you are recording pursuant to the rule, since there's been no request or notice made to the court or my staff, I checked with my staff before I took the bench. So I'm asking you all to please do that. Now, do you think this man cares about going back to prison? I think it'd be like a vacation for him. It'd be like a reunion. See his old pals and talk about old times. See, that's the problem with uh, former inmates. You know, they become accustomed to the system, and there's really no deterrent for them. Nah, they just a dreg of our society. If you're caught recording, you'll be asked to leave the courthouse. Mr. Ruff, let me go ahead and address just some of your emotions because there were some notices and I don't want to not address them since you did file them. Well, there you have it, folks. A 30-minute video. I'm not going to listen to all that nonsense. It's mostly the judge talking. But I just wanted you to hear the part where the judge said, No recording in the courtroom. I don't know why this was posted on Harvey Jailbird's channel. I don't know and I don't care. It's just so stupid, though, isn't it? You're just going to do what you want to do regardless of what anybody says. Sounds like a five-year-old child. He never grew up. Well, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. As always, get a job, fellas. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. Fuck You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh. Racist. Oh, oh. That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? 
You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. No reason to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You just assaulted me, ma'am. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula. Alu akbar. Hak nuikan da kra. Ula wala fufatai.